The 63-year-old actor-writer is best known for not only portraying Dublin grandmother Agnes Brown on the BBC TV programme, but also taking on the matriarch in the stage production too. Yet despite its enormous success as a hilariously popular sitcom, Brendan revealed he faced pushback from BBC bosses over the amount of swearing he'd put in. According to the producer, he was told if he cut some of the swear words from his scripts he could be made into a big star. What's more, Brendan said the channel's executive Danny Cohen said Mrs. Brown's boys could only air pre-watershed if some of the language was toned down. Danny has been a controller for both BBC One and Three, but unfortunately he couldn't let the series through to his ideal time slot with so much swearing. Express.co.uk has contacted a representative at BBC for comment. Speaking at a screening for the latest Christmas specials, comedian Brendan shared the story of how he'd been invited in to meet Danny for an F meeting. He said, Danny Cohen had taken over as controller, I had been invited in for an F meeting. I went in with my producer, the star continued. I arrived and Danny Cohen, he was mighty big and he was swinging in his chair. He spent the first 10 minutes telling me how lucky the BBC felt to have found me and the family, how wonderful Mrs. Brown's boys was. And how he liked that there was also pathos there and hopefully a message at the end. That families fall in and fall out but at the end of the day there's always something that keeps them together, we were going through all of this stuff. Brendan went on to say he refused to change the show simply to pander to the channel's viewership, and even jokerly asked Danny to just get to the point. Now I'm getting FG bored, Brendan said. I say, Danny, can we cut to the chase? You want me to stop saying F so you can put the show on at 8 o'clock? And he said, exactly. He said to me, look Benny, we want to make you a big star. We really do. The BBC want to make you a big headline star apostrophe dot despite the hilarious anecdote. Brendan ended the discussion by recalling Danny had in fact changed his mind by the end. He explained how the controller eventually told him to keep the show exactly as it was, including the swearing. This Christmas fans can finally see all the stars reunited for another special, as Dr. Flynn, Derek Reddin, Grandad, Dermot O'Neill, and Father Damien, Connor Maloney, are also back. The first episode, titled Exotic Mammy, airs on Christmas Day and Mammy's Motel will air later on in the week. According to the summary, Father Damien has organized a Christmas decoration contest to support the local football team. The synopsis reads, Agnes is keen to enter, especially as it might mean getting one over her old nemesis, Hilary Nicholson, but is soon distracted by her new Wi-Fi assistant and quite what to do with it. Mrs. Brown's Boys airs Christmas Day at on BBC One.